Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at uh, viscosity of pure gas at low density. Viscosity of pure gas at low density. Please, uh, this is one of the questions that we are expecting to be always coming out in our exams. And um, before you solve this, please make sure that you have the table. Table E1 and table E2. It's going to be provided for you by the examiner or the, 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 the teacher. For this, you have to have table E1 and E2, very, very important. With that, this is very, very simple. In the subsequent class, I'm going to be giving us exactly this same question, but with CO at 100, uh, uh, 400, and 500. But you need to understand this one to understand that one. This one is very, very explicit. With your knowledge of this, that one becomes very, very easy. Now, the question says, Compute the viscosity of CO2, carbon dioxide, at 200, 300, 800, and 1 atmosphere. First thing you do is that, using the equation mu, viscosity is equal to 2.6693 times 10 to the power minus 5, root of mt all over this uh, squared rho mu. So this is the formula that you use. This is the formula. So state this formula, you try as much as possible to have this formula in your head. Now, having this formula, how do we get the things to substitute in order for us to solve this down? And that's why you need this, uh, this table E1 and table E2. Two of them, just with the two of them. Very simple things. Now, to use this in order to get all this so that you can solve for viscosity, because that's what we are told to find, viscosity. We are told to find viscosity. Viscosity and this is viscosity. So how do we substitute this to get viscosity? Now, M T and all this one. How do you find it? Now, get to table E one. Table E one is this first table. Now, you will see a, a table that has headings like subtan six, your molecular mass, this and this. Now, look for the substance that is in question. This substance here is CO two. That is what we are looking for. So if you look at this, you will see CO2, and you see that the molecular weight is 44.01. CO2 is the substance, molecular weight is 44.01. And you also see that the Lennard-Jones parameter, this is the Lennard-Jones parameter. You just trace the same way, is what? Lennard-Jones parameter is 3.996. 3.996. And you also see that the E over K, the same way, E over K is 190. So you see that 44.01, 3.996, and 190. So all these values are already in this table. Very, very simply. Just keep table E1. We are going to use E2 when we are doing this one. For, but for this one, just table E1. So from E1, you get all this. Now, put back this equation and substitute. In place of M molecular, we put 44.40. In place of uh, this, put 3.996. So when you put these two, you reduce this equation to this. So you don't have mu to be equal to 1.1099.5 root t all over rho mu. So this is what you have now. But then you still need to find this so that you can finally get your viscosity. So with that, you need to do this table. So how do you do this table? First of all, is temperature. Second is your kt over e. I mean, or KT over epsilon. Third is your rho mu, root T. Then you have your predicted viscosity, which is what you are finding. Now, this temperature, you get it from the temperatures that we are giving. And even you are giving 100 and also you put it there. It's the same thing. No difference. Every other thing would have been the same but for this. So these are the temperatures. Then how do you find this? So you can see we are root given. All these temperatures are given. To find this very one, under uh, under this under table one where you have CO2, you have that the E over K is 190. Now, how do you find K over E? So K over E is simply the inverse of E over K. So simply do 1 over 190 times each of the temperature. 1 over 190, this is 1 over E over K, which is 190. 1 over 190 times each of the temperature times 200, you get it. 1 over 190 times 300, you get this. 1 over 190 times 800, you get this. You see? Very, very simple. Now, 
To get this one, this is where you go to table E2. Now you open the next table. This is table E2. This is the next table, table E2. And you're using table E2 in order for you to get this one. Now, if you open table E2, it will show you values of this KT over E over epsilon. And it will show you the corresponding values of this. So very, very simple. Check where you have this value. Check the corresponding value, right? Check where you have such value as this. Check the corresponding, check where you have this one. And in some cases, you use interpolation, which I'm going to explain in the next class or anytime you need it. But you can always find something that is close to what you have here so that you get the corresponding value here. So this is where you use your table E2. Just come to table E2. Table E2 is simply made up of values of KT, K, KT over epsilon, which is this, and mu this, which is the first one. The second one is talking about diffusivity. That's not what you need. You need the one that is talking about viscosity because that's what you're calculating. So you get all this. Now to get this one, very, very simple, root of the given temperatures, all these temperatures, root of 200 will give you this, root of 300 will give you this, root of 800 will give you this. So you've gotten this. Now how do you get the predicted value for viscosity? This formula that you have here, for each of them, substitute the values. So here, for, for you to get this one, you just simply do 1 point this to the root t. It's already given here, 14.4. All over mu, you put the corresponding mu, you get this one. For the second one, you also write the formula in place of root t, you put this one, in place of mu, you put this one. For the third one, you write the formula in place of root t, you put this one, in place of mu, you put this one. So you solve out to get all these values. So that is how you come about these values. So now you've been able to predict the viscosity of CO2 at 200. So if they ask you what is the viscosity of CO2 at 200, simply 1.013 times 10 to power. What is the viscosity at 300? 1.494 times 10 to power. What is the viscosity at 300? 3.269 at this. And to prove that this prediction way of solving it is very correct, this is what was actually observed experimentally. You can see that this value is close to this. This one is close to this. So that is this procedure. Very, very importantly, First thing is that you need to know this formula. State it exactly the way it is. Mu is equal to mu, which is viscosity, which is what you're looking for. It's equal to 2.6693 times 10 to power minus 5. 2.6693 times 10 to power minus 5. Root mt all over uh, this uh, parameter squared mu, uh, rho mu. Very, very important. So from your table E, checking the substance that was given, you can get all these other values. Substitute them so that you reduce this equation to this. Now do your table, given temperatures. Temperatures are already given. Now, 1 over 90, 1 over this value times each of the temperatures. You get this. Then check your table E to see in table E, what table E just contains it, these values against this value. So whenever you check